Okay, guys, time to vodcast the homework solution to 3.3p. Uh, we're going to do A and B for that. So we got homework 3.3p. And if you notice, we're just doing A and B. Sorry that we're jumping around a little bit here, but hey, not that big of a deal. Um, so it says, using the principles of atomic and molecular structure and the information in the table below, answer the questions about atomic fluorine, oxygen, and neon. So we see an ionization energy chart. Normally, we would look for jumps, but they don't give us any information. They give us just the first ionization energy. So let's first look at this chart to make sure it makes sense. Um, on the periodic table, you know, Xe is right there. We would have F and we would have O. So well, that's Fe, F. So we know that F would have a higher ionization energy than O. And according to this chart, um, F is greater than O. So that's good. Um, and we got Xe right there. And I hope I'm not mistaken. I I really think that Xe is below it. I'm sitting in my room right now at my house, and I just happen to have a chemistry book right here. So I'm going to look. Again, yeah, Xe is really, really, really low. So, you know, I actually, I'm going to go ahead and answer question C. I didn't think. I thought that this was NE. So I'm going to go ahead and answer C. So on the first one, it says, write the equation for the ionization energy of atomic fluorine that requires this in, this much energy. Now, we don't need this at all. So it says, write the equation for the ionization. So ionization means losing an electron. So we're going to go up here, and I'm going to write it. We have fluorine. Okay. It's atomic fluorine, so fluorine comes as a Twinkie, zero. Now, to lose one electron, that fluorine would go to plus one, and we'd lose this one electron, and we'd have two of these, and we'd actually need two of these. So that is the equation for losing an electron from atomic fluorine because it is diatomic. We would have to balance it by putting those two electrons in that two there. So we know that fluorine is always reduced. It's never ionized. But if we want to talk about the first ionization energy, that's the energy required to lose one electron. Losing an electron makes you positive. Now notice, fluorine never wants to do this. Okay? Fluorine wants to gain an electron to become F minus. This is what fluorine wants to do. So this is the reason why this ionization energy is so large. So the equation for the ionization of atomic fluorine shows atomic fluorine, the fluorine Twinkie, losing one electron to become plus one. We then balance it by putting the two there and putting two electrons right there. The two is put in front of the electrons to balance out the positive two here to have a minus two here so that the charge on both sides is the same. So simply the equation for the ionization of any element, let's say element X, is simply going to be it going to its positive charge losing that one electron. Metals will have a very low value for the first ionization energy. Non-metals will have a very high value because they actually want to gain electrons. Okay. Part B, account for the fact that the first ionization energy of atomic fluorine is greater than that for atomic oxygen. So we want to ask ourselves, are we talking about a horizontal or a vertical relationship? We're talking about a horizontal relationship. So we're going to look on our blue packet, and we are going to say that fluorine has, and if you look on the periodic table, fluorine has one more proton in its nucleus. Thus, it pulls on its electrons harder. And 
that explains it. That's the definition of ionization energy. The pull on the electrons account for the fact that the first ionization energy is greater. Fluorine has one more proton in its nucleus. Okay, thus it pulls on its electrons harder. And if you look on the periodic table, you see that oxygen has eight protons in its nucleus and fluorine has, fluorine has nine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do C also. I believe, I don't have it on here, but I believe C asks for you to predict whether the ionization energy for um, xenon is going to be greater than or less than that of oxygen. So we would see that xenon is lower on the periodic table. So we're going to really use our vertical um, definition here instead of our horizontal definition. So xenon is lower on the periodic table, thus has more electrons in higher energy levels. Its electrons are thus more shielded from the nucleus. Okay, so this explains why um, xenon now, xenon then would be larger than O and have a lower ionization energy. Okay, so let's go through these answers one more time. At the top, it says write the equation for the ionization of atomic fluorine. So we show atomic fluorine being ionized or losing an electron to become the plus one ion. That's not a thing that fluorine likes to do. Hence, it has a very high ionization energy. Um, the second question says, account for the fact that the first ionization energy of atomic fluorine is greater than that of oxygen. So we know that we're talking about a horizontal relationship. Therefore, in horizontal relationships, we're referring to the protons. Fluorine has one more proton in its nucleus. Thus, it pulls on its electrons harder. It must be smaller, thus have a higher ionization energy. I believe the next question asked us to predict whether the... Um, ionization energy of xenon would be more or less than that of oxygen. And the answer that I'm going to go with is I believe that xenon is lower on the periodic table. Therefore, it's got more electrons in higher energy levels. Thus, those electrons are more shielded from the nucleus. It would be larger and have a lower ionization energy. Okay, That would be than O and F as well. So one thing that I want to summarize is when we're talking about horizontal relationships on the periodic table, it's really the atomic number that we're focusing on. And when we're talking about vertical relationships on the periodic table, it's really the electron energy levels and shielding that we're referring to. Okay, guys, have a good night. Take care.